Hello, before you buy a Raspberry Pi 400, you need to make some important considerations. For example, are you going to buy the full set, the kit which comes with everything including the cable and the mouse and the book? And if so, are you going to buy the US layout keyboard or the UK layout keyboard? Now the thing you might not know is if you wanted the US layout keyboard you, you would come with the US power adapter which may not be suitable for your region. So what you actually want is a US keyboard layout but a, a UK power adapter or vice versa. So those are the things which many people might overlook. So how do you solve that problem? The solution is to just buy the personal standalone computer without the kit. So for example, this this one here, if I click on this, if I click on this, I I only buy the the personal computer without any accessories. So knowing that this is only a standalone without accessories, you will not get the SD card. So you need to buy an SD card. And then you also need to buy the cable, the micro USB. The micro USB to HDMI cable. And you also need to have a mouse, a wireless mouse or cable mouse. It's up to you. And then this one doesn't come with any extra cables. So the GPIO output here is where you connect your wires and so on so if you are and also the other thing you need to buy is additional uh, U uh, power adapter so what are the things you need to buy is this here over here okay so the standalone standalone personal computer is uh, make sure you select the correct one for example the standalone one here for this particular website is a US layout so assuming that I wanted to buy a US layout keyboard so I will choose this one US layout and what power adapter should I choose so the power adapter I want I have to select from here so in this case I wanted the UK power adapter so I will choose this one so these are add-on items you can buy to add on to your purchase the other thing you need is definitely a cable without this you won't be able to connect this to your monitor so the micro cable micro USB to HDMI cable is here this end here is a micro USB not a mini USB so be careful it's a micro USB and it connects the other end of the cable is a HDMI and then the mouse you don't have to buy the mouse because you can use your normal mouse which you already have so this is save you some money here you can use a wireless mouse which I, 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 I that's what I use for myself a wireless mouse so the only thing to note is the other thing to note is this the power adapter right so this one that you are seeing here is a UK 3 pin power adapter so this is the one that I will go for for myself and so this is how you can um, cut down on the cost and you definitely don't need to, to buy the book because you can download the book uh, for free from Raspberry Pi organization itself so this is the things you must consider when you are 
thinking of buying a Raspberry Pi 400 and what about the micro SD card for micro SD card you should go for at least 16 gigabyte because if you buy the 8 gigabyte micro SD card you can cannot install the full Raspbian OS if you a full Raspbian OS will need at least 8 point something at least 8 and above gigabyte but if you only want to install the bare bones Raspbian OS then 8 gigabyte will be sufficient but I would advise you to go for 16 gigabyte micro SD card so um, this is the thing you should consider okay now let's take a look at the the unit itself so now I'll show you the unit that I have over here and this is it the unit itself so it's a bare bones thing and for me what I did is I did not buy the the micro USB cable instead I bought the adapter the micro USB this end here is a micro USB and the other end here is a HDMI why did I buy this because my desktop already has my I already have a I already have a cable for my for my micro USB I already have a cable as you can see here and I already have a lab uh, monitor with its cable so all I need is just a adapter the adapter so the adapter on one end is your female socket here as you can see and the other end is your HDMI connector which is connected to my monitor so I just have to plug this in like this and then the other end I will insert it here into the HDMI uh, micro micro HDMI connector let me try to get into focus there you go so there are two here you should use the one nearer to the micro USB card this is the first HDMI output HDMI 0 the other one is for the second monitor so you just plug your micro USB connector here micro USB here like this and then this other one is your power the power so this power here you connect is a USB connector the power right so the USB connector connects to the USB socket over there like that and the other end of the USB is your power itself which is let me just grab that for you there you go so this is your three pin UK plug right so this is what I bought separately and then um, the other end of it is your is connected to the uh, is a USB type C connector connected to the power over here 
right and then the next thing is your mouse for the mouse I use the wireless mouse there are, since there are two USB 3 and one USB 2 I chose the USB 2 saving the other two USB uh, 3 for other things so you don't need to buy a, a mouse right and then I can use my my wireless mouse I'm just using a common cheap Logitech Logitech mouse but I guess any wireless mouse will do mine is M185 that's it that's all you need alright then of course you have to install the Raspbian OS in your micro SD card this is your micro SD card and I'm using a uh, SanDisk I think Kingston I'm using Kingston so let's see you can focus Kingston 16 gig and the in the next video I'll show you how to how to reinstall Raspbian OS here when you buy a micro SD card it also comes with adapter Right, the adapter looks something like this this adapter this is a SD, SD card adapter so you would put this in here like this the reason why you need an adapter is so that you can insert it into your computer so after you insert the micro SD card here making sure that it is not locked there is a notch here that you can slide up and down to lock the, the card make sure it's unlocked lock is push up unlock is push the other direction like that alright and then you will put it in here like this at the side of your laptop which has got the SD card and slide it in like that right so the moment you slide it in you will get the uh, uh, the uh, you will need to install something which I will show you in the next uh, video alright so thank you for watching uh, I'll see you in the next one